Hello, this is Wesley from Obscure Terrain, and I'm coming at you here with a backpack review of the Osprey Volt 75 backpack, as you can see featured next to me. This backpack was really great, and I just took it on an adventure to the Chiricahua Mountains, um, and it was a snowy adventure, and it performed pretty well. So I'm going to give it a review. Um, the most important feature, I think, of this backpack is actually this Osprey logo right here. As you can see, it inspires adventures because it's really, it's really awesome, you know. But first and foremost, I'd like to start off with the daisy chain out here. It's really awesome. I had a bunch of stuff hooked onto my bag, and I just strapped it to the daisy chain, and it, it felt very compressed, and I didn't have like a, it didn't swing around a lot. So that daisy chain really gives you a lot of options for how you set up your pack. Also. It has a nice little like mesh pocket so you can put like a tarp or put like your shovel or just different items on the outside. It's pretty awesome. Here up top we actually have a pocket that you can get to. It's very convenient for different for different things. I put a bunch of like things I wanted to get to quickly up there. So here on the side I, uh, there's a pocket right here. And it, it has a little compression strap, so you can fit all sorts of stuff. Like you can put a machete there, a shovel, cookware. It's really convenient. I really enjoyed it. Also, the compression strap doubles to like make the entire pack tighter. So even if you don't have something in this pocket, when you compress this, it makes the pack weight like way more comfortable. My my pack weight was actually 65 pounds on this last trip and it after like the first day it literally felt like I forgot that I had that much weight on my back it felt like I was carrying a normal backpack so these pockets right here are also pretty convenient keep little knickknacks and stuff like some obscure terrain stickers so right here we have the internal frame it's on uh, seems like some sort of plastic or carbon fiber um, right here we got like the lumbar padding. It's definitely memory foam of some sort because it, it feels very good. Um, the mesh is really nice because it made it breathable. Um, my backpack, my back was not sweating at all and I was like layered up so you, you would think there'd be some sweat but th that did not happen because it was breathable. It also has velcro adjustments so you can kind of like maybe adjust the pad a little bit. Um, but I liked it the way it was. Also, we got the hip padding, which is, is very like big, and it has a lot of support. And it, it actually compresses, as you can see right here, it's connected to the main pocket. So when you compress it, it actually like really gets tight to your bag, to your back. Um, here we have that top pocket for convenience. Some random stuff in there. Um, now I'm about to show you the inside. So you got this clip and this clip. Got this nice breathable mesh pocket for other items you need to get to quickly. So we got a drawstring right here. And then we got another compression strap right there. So right here, there's a hydration sound bladder. And it turns out, when I was actually cleaning out my bag, that some water spilled in there. And it did not get any of the other stuff in the bag wet. I barely noticed, like actually a few, it's already been like a week, and I noticed that there was water in there. And my stuff didn't get wet. So, I'm the hydration pouch part is waterproof. So, of course, 75 liters quite a bit of stuff in here, you know, like your food, some clothing, you know, different items, snacks, but as you can see, it's quite large, um, and you can actually access the sleeping pad and stuff from the top part. There's like a small little pocket. It actually looks like it comes undone. There's, um, it's a little snaps, so you can make it one giant pocket if you want. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. So this trip to the Chiricahua Mountains was actually pretty hard because it snowed and it sleeted. 
Um, I used uh, like a cheap little rain fly for this bag and it worked out pretty well. You know, it stayed strong in the weather. Um, the, we camped in snow, so there's snow everywhere, so it got dumped a few times in the snow because I tripped a few times, it was like three feet of snow. And even then, like it like didn't get soaked up with water, it wiped off really clean. And overall, I would say this is probably one of the best backpacks there is out there. Just like, it was very good. Um, like the comfort aspect of this bag is like completely like, I can't, I can't give it, do it justice with words. Because I literally had 65 pounds on my back. And after the first day, we were like, we went up a mountain, three feet of snow, high knees for like four miles, and it was straight up switchbacks. And I thought I was gonna be dead the next day. And literally I woke up, my neck wasn't sore, my back wasn't sore, and all of that. Like if you do like a multiple day trip in some crazy terrain, like having the, the right pack makes a big difference. So this was a very good pack. Overall I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it. I'm probably gonna use this pack for the rest of my adventures. It's gonna take some convincing um, for me to like switch to a different pack. Like something would have to happen to me, like that this pack gets very damaged and I switched to another pack because I really enjoyed it, I really liked it. One thing though that I found slightly annoying was um, there's no way, like there's only two ways to get to the center compartment through the top and through the sleeping pad bottom you can kind of reach through the corner. It'd be nice to possibly get to the actual center compartment through the center. That way you don't actually have to unpack everything to get stuff on the bottom. Um, but other than that, like this is a really good pack and the comfort level is perfect. Like who loses track of having 65 pounds on their back? But as always, this is Wesley from Obscure Terrain saying subscribe and bang the bell for more gear reviews and adventure videos. And I'll see you next time.